Hello, everybody, and welcome into another episode of Talking Pitchburg. Berg. It's Tuesday, December 19th, 2017, and we are in the city of Pitchburg. Talking. We're talking. We're here. Yo, it's uh, me again, Preston. Hello. Hello. And Andrew. Hello. Howdy. How, how we're, D. We're, we're here. We, here we are. Here we are. Once again, the dynamic duo. And, well, don't forget Jeremy. He's just been shrunk down. Oh, he's... <laughs> he's directly underneath this hat. You might not be able to hear him, ladies and gentlemen. It's whole, you know... He, his mic is just physics. too low. We just can't hear it. It's a physics he's situation. He's so small. Uh-huh. His, his weak, tiny little lungs can't push out enough air past those vocal cords. You know what oh, I mean? Man. They aren't resonating. Rough. At a level that human ears can understand. It's kind Got of it. like a dog whistle. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's like his That's his little mouth and, and yeah. vocal cords today. So you today. think if your dog Randy was here, he'd hear Jeremy just he would. fine? He okay. would. He'd be in there. He'd be he'd sniffing around. Us. Yeah. Okay. What's going on? Cool. What's going on? He, he'd bulldog <laughs> right in. I always say he, he bulldogs in. He bulldogs in because... Oh, he does. Like, I'll close the door, right? Mm-hmm. Close the door. And all yeah. of a sudden, I'll just hear like... Boom! <laughs> he just headbutts it, comes flying right through. I'm just like, what's oh, going on? That's funny. It's Randy the Bulldog I'm coming, coming in, in to say hi. Coming through, make a hole. Yeah. 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 Nice. So, uh, he's, he's, oh, he's doing good. He's doing good. I think it's time for him to get a bath. Oh. That's the debate in the house right now. How often do you wash a dog? I don't know. Not a lot, apparently. Because he's not really an outdoor dog. You know, he's, yeah. not, he's not getting dirty. You just get the shampoo and get him scrubbed yeah, up. He's smelling. In the bath. He's kind of. I, I wake up and I'm like, it smells like yeah. uh, like a bag of Fritos yeah. in our house. Mm. And I'm like, this isn't mm. pleasant. I don't like this. No, no, definitely not. And he's laying on the couch. I'm like, come on. He's stinking it our, up. Our dog, Gus, who we've featured on this show before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If he goes outside when it's wet, he comes in, he smells. Wet dog oh, yeah. is a bad smell, <laughs> but he's got really long hair, so mm-hmm. it stays on him for a yeah. long time. It's pretty bad. Yeah, yeah, that's a whole <laughs> different ball game. That is. This guy is just. He's just stanky. Just, just, he's sleeping. Get he's hot. Bath. It's just. Uh, I'm just ready. That to, bath. Yeah, I'm ready to give him a bath. There you go. Let me know how that endeavor goes. I'll, if you do it. I'll it let you be, know. It could it's, be fun. He, yeah. Does he like water? He okay. So you know, we we were giving him the foot baths yeah. for a while. Yeah, yeah. He did okay if I was constantly enticing him with bits of food. Uh, okay. So, so you had to play the. I'll let theater. you know how it works out. We have a okay. bathtub. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. Be good. I'll stay tuned. All ladies right, and gentlemen. stay tuned for updates on Randy the Bulldog. Indeed. Hopefully, I'll <laughs> have one for you before the end of this year, you which go. is quickly approaching. By the way, let me uh, let Man, me say it's... this isn't the only thing we do on the show here. We no. do we do other things. We talk about headlines, yeah, which we'll do. Mm-hmm. We'll get you ready for some upcoming events. Mm-hmm. Then in the digest today, special guest segment, we go out to uh, the Department of Agriculture, Trade, and Consumer Protection. Talk about data breaches today. Very important topic for mm-hmm. everyone. Lots of shopping going on, so you got to be careful with that. Lots stuff. and lots. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then uh, in the guest segment today, we're going to replay an older uh, package, but the snow just keeps kind of holding off. But mm-hmm. now, uh, it's about plowing. So today we're going to bring it back because I have some unfortunate news for you about upcoming weather. Uh, and mm-hmm. I just want to give a reminder how all the plowing works, why we do it, how it works, and uh, got some tips for you about your mailbox. So there you go. Oh, yeah. That's what's on the show. Let's kick it off right into the headlines. And today, uh, some breaking news from the Fitchburg Police Department uh, about shots being fired on Pike Drive. So approximately 4.48 a.m. Uh, this morning, Fitchburg police officers were dispatched to the 1900 block of Pike Drive for a report of shots fired. Shortly after the initial call, an adult male victim who was not injured was located and interviewed. The victim explained there had been an argument inside an apartment which preceded the shooting, which occurred on the street. Uh, The suspect was located, taken into custody, and booked into the Dane County Jail on a number of charges. The incident remains under investigation. However, there is no ongoing threat to the community at this time. Uh, If you do have information about the incident, you can call the Fitchburg Police Department or Madison Area Crime Stoppers at their respective numbers as listed there on the screen. So there you go. Just letting you know what's happening with that situation. If you had heard about it, it is being taken care of now. All right. And I mentioned the weather. Dun-da-dun. Cold weather is ahead of us, ladies and gentlemen. So after our wintry weather exits by the weekend, cold northwest winds will usher in a classic, those classic Arctic blasts from the upper Midwest. 
Classic. Dang it. Man. The 6 to 10 uh, day and 18 to 14 day temperature outlooks are showing a high probability of being below normal through those periods. Mm -hmm. We could see temperatures running 10 degrees or more below normal. Wow. So a little being chilly. A big time for travel. Uh -huh. Be prepared. It is a little chilly. Mm -hmm. So here you go. Here's a look at the map. There it is. There's that look classic that. Just right through blast. Wisconsin. Just <laughs> man. Yep. Hello, our old friend. Cold. Because it's different here. Like the lighter the color, the colder it is. Right, right. And that so, purpley color. Yeah, so. you want to be sitting in the darker you section wanna, this time. Yeah, yep. <laughs> but it's all cold. If you look at it, it's all, it's all cold. So no good. It's all cold. Remember to have those emergency preparedness kits mm -hmm. in your vehicles, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Don't want to be out there in the cold. Be ready. All right. Now we'll flip over. Uh, to, I guess it's more fun news. Hey, who doesn't love hey. recycling? Especially when we're talking about holiday lights. I do, I do. Ooh. I love it. Uh, right here at S Fitchburg City Hall, you can recycle um, holiday lights that don't work anymore until January 31st. So just a reminder, though, if you have any bulbs larger than marble size, you need to uh, take those out and recycle them separately mm -hmm. uh, at participating stores. And if you go to the website and you check out this link here, fitchburgwi.gov slash solid waste, they have the super helpful recycling guide, which includes locations of stores that will take those off your hands. Uh, mm -hmm. So make sure you head over and check that out. It is in English and in Spanish. It's pretty sweet. So double check that. Make sure you're recycling if, things properly. And if you have more inform want more information on that, we have a video with Holly from a oh. couple months ago on this very website. Very good so point. So you can go back to Facebook, YouTube, and find that if you want to know more. Sweet deal. Yes. That recycling guy is very nice. It is. So very interactive. Very cool. Check that thing out. Mm -hmm. All right. Another good opportunity, opportunity to do something very awesome. Uh, the 32nd annual holiday blood drive with the American Red Cross Southwest Wisconsin chapter is going to be coming up and it's going to be held at the Alliant Energy Center on Friday, December 22nd. That's this Friday mm -hmm. from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, you should visit redcrossblood.org. Uh, not uh, so it's actually redcrossblood.org. <laughs> and you can enter HBD Madison to schedule your appointment now. Mm -hmm. uh, I encourage you to do that if you can. It is, some would say, the greatest gift it is. you could give. So there you go. The Help a lot of people out. Giving. True that. Mm -hmm. All right, now I have an announcement about a really fun upcoming event. Yes. Uh, this is going to be Saturday. Know, this might be one of the first things we're talking about out of the new year. Yeah. January 13th. Right out of the gate. Uh, from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. at 10 Pin Alley, there will be a bowling tournament. Woo! Woo! Knock out those pins. Uh, this is a bowling tournament. It's an annual fundraiser for the Fitchburg Fire Rescue Association. The funds raised by the FFRA are used to purchase item in, items, not items. What's going on with my speech today? Oh, it's all right. All right. The funds raised by that are used to purchase items that benefit members of the Fitchburg Fire Rescue, as well as the citizens and businesses of Fitchburg. Items may include emergency response tools or training equipment that could not be included in the department's annual operating budget due to financial limitations. So some of the things that they purchased in the past with these uh, are cardiovascular training equipment, thermal imaging camera, uh, ex how, how do I say, extra basically jaws of life the jaws mm, of life extrication extrication tools. thank you very yes, much you're welcome extrication i like yes. it the jaws of life oh yeah enforceable entry training props so lots of obviously very important mm -hmm. valuable equipment to the department and expensive and expensive mm -hmm. so hey you can be a key role in mm -hmm. funding some of those things Definitely. in addition to bowling there are multiple raffles that will be taking place throughout the day including the opportunity to go home with half the cash raised in a 50-50 raffle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Woo. Uh, bowling shifts will be assigned first come, first serve basis. So get in there and submit them early. Uh, you can go to the website there, uh, FitchburgFireRescue.com. There are tickets available. You can sign up, do all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's that. So it's a good cause. Who doesn't love bowling? Who doesn't? Nine pin tap tournaments are great. It's a great, it's a great place. Bowling's great fun. Great yep. cause. Mm -hmm. I mean, Can't plus, go wrong. What else you got going on? That's all you need. That's all I need. Boom. Other than a break, I need to take a quick break. I need to rehydrate my vocal cords, remember how to talk, do all those types of things. Uh, so I'm going to take a quick break. Then I'm going to come back. I'm going to get you updated on some more information. Uh, and we're going to talk to our friends from the Department of Agriculture, Trade, and Consumer Protection. Stick with us. It's Talking Pittsburgh.